So we just made this plot in ggplot2. When we compare it back to the pie graph, the first thing I notice is that now all the data is visible. We haven't lost the small regions and we can read out the exact share that comes from Africa, Oceania, and the unknown or stateless column. I believe it is also easier to compare the relative sizes of each region because they're all put side by side on a similar scale. There's no tricks of three dimensions or colors to create a perception issue. But I will say that something to consider is for some people and some applications, being not as visually exciting is a negative. This plot, while very readable and correct, is certainly a little bit dull. In some applications, this is an important consideration. Now, wouldn't it be interesting if we could plot this data on a world map? It would be possible, but a bit tedious to create, because you would need to determine which country lies in which region. Shading all countries in a region of the same color might be misleading, though. For example, countries in Latin America will send students at different rates, naturally. But if we color them all the same color, it kind of gives a false impression. As it turns out, we actually have access to per country data. So we will plot that on a world map instead and see if it is an effective way of communicating where students come from to MIT.